Hi, everybody. Welcome to another conversation. Uh, Tim Lurch and I have done three of these now for Mike's Master Classes, and Tim and I are old friends, and I've had the pleasure of doing some gigs together, but this is the first time we've co-taught in the first three courses, classes rather. Got some nice responses, so we thought we'd do another one, finishing up uh, the last eight bars of How Deep is the Ocean. We've already done three classes where we discussed some reharms on the earlier parts of this tune. And then maybe a little bit of comping and some just some spontaneous in the moment conversations about the harmony. And today we're going to be looking at the C section, which is the last exactly. eight bars where the melody exactly. wraps itself up. So uh, you and I both referenced a little bit of Bill Evans' harmony on this, and I think Jim Hall used something similar. So a lot of what Bill does, he likes minor chords and whole steps, so there's a bit of that in this last eight bar section. Uh, sometimes secondary dominance, uh, you know, Bill was fond of, and Jim too, and you and I maybe have inherited some of this sensibility. The idea, if the tempo is slow enough, of just inserting some additional harmonic information just so we have a bit more movement. Mm -hmm. um, John, do you want to play? Why don't you, why don't we do, go ahead and play the whole thing one time through with the melody. Let, let's hear sure. what your deal is on it. Sure. <laughs> That's nice. Very beautiful. I love. I'd love to hear your take on the melody because I don't think we have done in any of the previous classes. Just an uninterrupted. All the way through. Yeah. yeah. I'd, I'd love to hear your take on it. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Let's see if I can make it through. I suspect you will. Rolling back to the to the C minor. <laughs> yeah. 